Welcome everyone. I'm Luann Fortune with the Department of Mind-Body Medicine at Saybrook University and we welcome you to our meditation circle today. I'll be joined by my colleagues today, Dr. Mark R. Curry, Dr. Shannon McLean, as well as Dean Donald Moss who will be doing a, a closure for us. So the very first thing I'd invite you all to do is get yourself settled in if you need to turn your ringers off or turn your phone upside down or close a door. Whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable for the time that we're here. And if at the end of our session there's anything you'd like to share, there'll be time for that off camera. So right now, I want to introduce our program for tonight so you know what's coming. I'll be opening us with a grounding and centering meditation, which is sort of foundational to the work that we'll be doing. Mark will be following with an opening to infinite possibilities in 2024, because we are, after all, at the beginning of that time in real time. The third meditation will be about envisioning a positive future with Dr. Shannon McLean. And then we'll have a closing tonight as well. So first of all, I invite you again to settle. And the meditation I'm going to start with recognizes that centering and grounding are both very important to our mindfulness practices, but they are different. So by way of definition, I consider centering something as a process of intentionally bringing our mental and our physical, our body awareness and focus to the immediate present, looking first inward. I see grounding as an effort of directing ourselves energetically to balance by looking outward, connecting with context and the physical support that binds us to the planet. So with those notes, I invite you first of all to come inward and we'll take some time for centering. So again, if you need to make any movements in your body to get yourself comfortable, if you want to shrug your shoulders, want to roll your neck, if you want to stretch your fingers, if you want to stretch your arms out, open up your torso, and then take a generous breath in, breathing in and out. And then if you're so comfortable doing so, allow your eyes to go closed or gaze softly on the screen or a place somewhere nearby to cut out all of the outside stimuli that can come to us. To allow yourself to focus on your breath breath as foundation to our mindfulness practice. So notice that you're breathing in through your nose or your mouth and allow yourself to focus on the air coming in through your nostrils or in through your lips. And see if you can follow the breath in, breathing in as it travels down through your trachea into your lungs and perhaps pauses for a moment before releasing outward. See if you can follow that for a few cycles. Breathing in, pausing and breathing out. And continue your mindful attention to your breath, although sometimes that is not as simple as we make it sound, especially after two or three or four cycles, when the thoughts of where we've come from and where we're going to start creeping into our awareness. Simply notice. Notice those to-do lists of going forward 
notice the reflections on where you've come from earlier. You might imagine them as little bubbles and let them float away just for now. They have a way somehow of coming back. And bring your attention back to your breath, breathing in and breathing out. You might begin to notice that this takes you to an awareness of what's on the inside of you. Noticing your breath floating down and through your lungs. And we know it's oxygenating all those red blood cells that are then pulsing through your body to give you life to give you fuel, all from that breath in. And as you breathe out, recognize that you're letting go of what you don't need. And even if you don't do it consciously, your body knows. Knows to let go of what it doesn't need. And for this time, focus again on yourself, on your breath, on the body it serves. And on the life it vitalizes in this very present moment. And you might notice that other things are coming up on the inside of you. Maybe things you want to come back to later on. You might become aware of temperature changes as your breath travels through you. Breathing in and out. You might become aware of signals. Maybe you're hungry or thirsty. Maybe you need a little extra rest tonight or a little bit more movement. Breathing in and out. If you have a tool called a body scan in your toolbox, maybe you want to come back to it later or even bring it in right now, very briefly. Following your breath all the way through your chest, down through your pelvis. The vitality of your breath through your legs, all the way to your toes. And as you breathe out, following back up your body, up your back, to your shoulders, and even out your arms to your fingertips, breathing out. You might even follow your breath up through your head, up through the neck that supports oh, that heavy ball that we carry around with us, breathing in, fueling every brain cell and every sense cell, and breathing out. You might even notice what you notice energetically about yourself. Are you settling in? Are you getting ready to move on? If 
And if you feel like you're ready to move on to the next part of this meditation, I invite you to notice, breathing in and out, that with your out breath, you take your own molecules and you put them out into the universe beyond. Notice that there is a universe beyond. Notice that you're connected to it through your breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. You might want to extend that awareness to notice the sensation on your skin. Ah, the skin, the dermis. The integumentary system is the largest organ in the body, keeping us inside, from the outside. Oh, but also a permeable membrane, inviting in the sensations. Perhaps there's a breeze, perhaps there's a temperature. Perhaps there's an energy that you can sense. Noticing on your skin, the outside of you. And you might want to imagine your energetic breath now. Your energetic breath as it leads off of you into the space around you. Ah, your parapersonal space, the space of your aura, the space of your thermal zone, the space that you carry around with you, right beyond your skin. Notice that you can energetically breathe out through every surface part of your body. You might notice if there's a color attached to it. Are you breathing out energetic white? Or are you yellow? Is it a violet glow? Mm, or does it change? the area of your body to correspond to the chakras. How playful of it. What a playful thing this energetic self is. And you might want to consider that energy can be directed outward. In fact, you're doing it all the time, intentionally or not, with every being you come in touch with. So now for the sake of settling in even further, imagine yourself directing that energy down into the earth below you. Imagine you've got deep roots that you can send down down into Mother Earth, down into the planet, down into Gaia. And as you breathe out, imagine yourself sending those roots down into the space below, down into the core of some source, some universal source. And then allow yourself to draw back from that universal source, the energy, the nurturance, the sustenance, the connection of being part of that, whatever that means to you. And as you breathe, both with your oxygen breath, 
and your energetic self. Allow yourself to sit with this for a while. A sense of being very grounded and connected. Connected to the earth. Connected to a core. Connected to all living beings. And as you continue to breathe that energy, you might consider if there's an intention that you want to send out. Send down into the core below, out through the connections, the connections of all beings, of all that are here tonight. of all who are here beyond. And if a word comes up for you, you might just want to note it. Note it for later. Note it for later when you take out that list. But without the word, see if you can send out the intention. Perhaps it's love or peace or calm. Or justice. Or any number of the beautiful concepts that we share through our connections. And now I'm going to begin to bring you back to your breath, breath. Breathing in the air. Through your nose, through your lips. Breathing out carbon dioxide. Exhales. yourself a few more generous breaths in, whatever that means to you. And in a moment, I'm going to transition over to my colleague. But you can keep your eyes closed if that's comfortable for you. Or if you feel like you need to wiggle your shoulders and your fingers and your toes around just a little bit. You do that too. I'm going to turn this over now to my colleague, Dr. Marka Curry will provide us an opening to infinite possibilities. Mark? Thank you, Dr. Fortune. That was wonderful. So just a little background to the med- meditation that I've prepared. Whenever I prepare a meditation for a client or otherwise, or get ready to do some writing or prepare a workshop. I think of the context, of course, that that I'm tasked with, but then also look to my environment for some sort of inspiration. And the environment can be a, a person, a place, a thing, uh, anything that I notice. And in this case, it was the new year 2024. So it was the beginning of the new year last week. And I was thinking about the meditation and thinking about the number is 2024, and came to the discovery that 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8, and I was certain that I was the only one that had ever thought that, and uh, for about three days, I believed that until I started reading other people saying the same thing, 
but I thought it was still a good idea because the number eight, of course, uh, represents infinity. And I think the year ahead is going to offer us really wonderful, wonderful possibilities uh, around that number and about around infinity. So I'd like to welcome you to this guided meditation for embracing the new year. And my process for going through it is touching on a lot of different aspects of preparing myself and offering that to you and beginning to lay the foundation for what lies ahead and embracing the changes that ultimately will be part of any uh, unfolding that we experience. So as 2024 is beginning to unfold, we have this opportunity to connect with the symbolism of the number eight, representing infinity and endless possibilities. So I know now that you're all in a very comfortable space, but I'll invite you to kind of play with that a bit if you need to and find even more comfort than, than you may be in already. And if your eyes aren't already closed, I invite you to close them if you feel so inclined or soften your gaze. And begin to notice and follow that natural rhythm of your breath that, that you were experiencing in the prior meditation. And just return to that focus on your breath for a short time. I invite you to inhale a bit more deeply than usual, perhaps, drawing in fresh energy and possibilities. And to exhale a bit more slowly than usual, releasing any residual tension or thoughts that you may be experiencing. And let's continue this breathing pattern for a moment. Feel the air filling your lungs and revitalizing every cell in your body, preparing you for the new beginnings that are underway. And as you continue to breathe this way, I invite you to start a gentle body scan once again from the tips of your toes. And this time moving upwards and feeling this wave of relaxation. And as it moves up your body, feel it softening each part as it moves through you. And as the sway descends to your knees, your thighs, your abdomen, your chest, stomach, shoulders and arms, your neck, your head, continue to release any tightness or discomfort and embrace a feeling of complete relaxation and just bask in this relaxation for a few moments. And now I invite you to imagine a radiant infinity symbol before you. Its gentle glow represents a path of continuous opportunities and growth that will carry you through this new year. Perhaps you see this as a symbol. You may feel it or otherwise sense its presence in any way that is natural for you. You might even imagine yourself walking along this symbol, each step infusing you with hope and enthusiasm for what 2024 holds.
And now I invite you to ponder your intentions for 2024. What aspirations, dreams, or changes do you wish to pursue? You might imagine these intentions as seeds in fertile soil. With each breath, they receive nourishment, ready to sprout and grow. And along with these intentions, you might embrace these affirmations or something that speaks to you more clearly. For example, I'm open to growth and embrace each opportunity with positivity. I am open to growth and embrace each opportunity with positivity. I welcome each new day with gratitude, knowing it brings unique opportunities for joy and learning. I welcome each new day with gratitude knowing it brings unique opportunities for joy and learning. And with these intentions and affirmations, it's important to contemplate the nature of change. It's important to recognize it as an integral part of life's journey, bringing chances for personal development and new experiences. With this in mind, I invite you to embrace upcoming changes with a positive mindset, seeing them as opportunities to advance and enrich your life. I welcome each new day with gratitude, knowing it brings unique opportunities for joy and learning. I am open to growth and embrace each opportunity with positivity. Now let's focus for a moment on gratitude because can both cultivating gratitude and thankfulness is integral to opening to any change, any major change in our life, transition. So you might reflect on the people, experiences, moments that bring joy and richness to your life, whatever they may be, whatever they may have occurred, I believe if we reflect on them now, we bring them back to the present and set the stage for attracting much more of the same in the year to come. So I invite you to allow this feeling of gratitude to fill your heart, fostering an inner sense of happiness and contentment.
And finally, reflecting on personal achievements and strengths is important for laying the foundation for 2024. So I invite you to reflect for a moment and recognize your achievements. Reflect on the strengths you've honed and how they've contributed to your journey. And I invite you to feel proud of your resilience and progress and to acknowledge that you will continue to build on these strengths in the coming year. As you start to bring your awareness back to the present moment, notice the sensations in your body, any sounds around you, and let them anchor you once again in the here and now. You might gently move your fingers and toes, feeling a renewed sense of connection with your body and your surroundings. And I invite you to hold with you the sense of hope and possibility and let it be a canvas for your aspirations and dreams in 2024, knowing that the possibilities are infinite and that you get to decide what the focus will be and to step back and allow them to manifest, knowing that you're aligned with bringing them into being. And when you're ready, I invite you to carry this sense of purpose and readiness into the new year with my thanks and blessings. And I'll turn the meditation over to my colleague, Dr. McLean. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. Shannon, are you ready? So now having opened ourselves up to infinite and endless opportunities and grounding in gratitude, Let's continue to expand into a space where we can envision what possibilities and new beginnings the future may bring. So at this time, you know, just really taking a moment to settle the body, you know, making sure that you really do feel comfortable. You know, maybe you need to take a shift or a wiggle or Maybe you'd like to lie down at this point, or if you've been lying down, maybe you want to sit up. So just checking in with yourself to see what would really feel nurturing. And you might close your eyes, maybe they've been closed, or perhaps what's feeling good is to allow the eyes to open and just take a gaze somewhere out in the room, the space around you. And however you choose to be, just allowing the belly and the shoulders to be relaxed, the breath soft and easy. So in this meditation, I will in I will guide you through a practice to envision a positive future. And so this will be an invitation for you to connect with that place that is within where you're wanting to cultivate a life of meaning and fulfillment. I think rather expanding upon this meditation from Dr. R. Curie. I think this is a really useful way to consider 
you know, first of all, the ways in which we care for ourselves, as well as how we care and tune into others. How we show up in all of our glory, especially when life feels challenging. So taking a breath in, nice and slow, and then releasing that breath, nice steady exhale. And finding a way of breathing that feels natural, and just flowing with that rhythm of the breath. Resting your attention softly and easily on the belly, feeling its rise and fall. So throughout this meditation, I will drop in several questions into your awareness to prompt some ideas and responses. So, so wanting to make sure that you are you know, feeling in a relaxed way, but also allowing yourself to be alert at the same time. So as we move into this, you know, there's no need to really think or try hard here, but just being with whatever comes up. There's no problem solving. There's no figuring it all out. Just seeing if you can allow yourself to be loose and open. And if nothing's coming forward for you, that's okay. Simply continue to rest the attention on the breath. So you might follow along as much or as little as you like. So let's begin by just kindly asking yourself, what kind of future do I feel deeply moved towards? Just noticing what thoughts, feelings, and images come to mind of what kind of future that you feel deeply moved towards. Remembering to breathe. And as you hold this positive future in your mind, your heart, and your body, notice what you notice. Feel what you feel. What is present for you? What is showing up? You can ask yourself, how can I show up in a way that will allow this positive future to unfold? How can I show up fully for the opportunities that I encounter? So again, noticing what is arriving into the mind, into the heart, the feelings in the body. How do I want to be in relation to others? So considering how you will engage with those around you to be in relation to others.
and finding your way to the breath, allowing the inhale and the exhale to be gentle and easy. And what might get in the way? And how will I move beyond it? And as you continue to call into your mind, your heart and your body, this future that you envision, and what might get in the way and how you will choose to move beyond it. And what are the skills or capabilities that I'll need to get there? And dropping into what feels most true for you. Notice what you notice and feel what you feel. And how my practice support this future? Breathing into the belly, feeling your body supported, and see yourself right now somewhere in this positive future and reflect on the things that you did that enabled you to get there. You might see yourself doing some of those things. Maybe it's spending time with family or it's engaging in a daily practice that supports clarity and focus. Perhaps it's putting your energy into learning new skills. cultivating new abilities. Following curiosities. Or maybe it's how you allow yourself to connect with others. And so bringing all of this into your senses, noticing what it feels like as you imagine doing these things. And knowing that you can come back into this meditative state anytime you'd like to rediscover connection to that place within you that is ready to create and manifest that positive future. We all have this incredible ability to improve our lives and the lives of those around us. So taking now these feelings and insights with you as you move beyond this meditation and allowing it to guide you, guide you and how you interact with your world and those with whom you encounter. 
So really letting that breath expand, deepening that breath just slightly as you really inhale and let that exhale be cleansing. As we begin to shift into the final portion of our meditation for this evening. And I will turn it over to Dr. Don Moss. Thank you, Shannon. Let's take a moment and just continue the breathing that has been focused so often this evening as we make a transition to a closing. We are in a meditation circle. That means that we are in a circle with one another, not just meditating with the guidance of the instructors, but sharing a meditative experience with Celine, with Devorah, with Luann, with Sandy, with Shannon, with Barbie, with Cliff, with Heather, with Jennifer, with Julie, with Kirsten, with Maria, Mark, Shay, Tiffany. Where we are in a circle sharing a moment of contemplation with one another. And we are in a journey, on a journey. Trying to share my screen to bring back the uh, PowerPoint. There, thank you. We are on a journey and Luann Fortune, Dr. Fortune, Begin that journey with us, guiding us to settle in, guiding us into a centering and a grounding, reminding us that centering is a process, an intentional process, bringing our awareness into this moment, moving inward while grounding we direct ourselves outwardly. We direct ourselves energetically into the world, our surrounding, ultimately grounding us with this earth that supports us. She guided us repeatedly to return to our breath. Our breath floating inward, centering us, yet breathing outwardly as well, grounding us. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing inward throughout our entire body, breathing outward, releasing my breath into the universe. rooting us in the earth, centering us and grounding us. And then Mark Akuri, Dr. Akuri guided us to open ourselves to infinite possibilities, beginning with this new year. We are not only in a new semester, but we are in a new year. And he, he reminded us of the symbolics of that number itself, two zero, two four, two plus two, plus four, eight, infinity. Inviting us to embrace infinity inviting us to embrace change, 
He too guided us to our breathing, in inhaling fresh energy as we move into this new year, exhaling slowly, releasing that which we are done with, inhaling fresh and new, exhaling the old, feeling a wave of relaxation spreading upward in our bodies, and then infinity again, imagining a radiant infinity symbol. He invites us to walk with enthusiasm and hope into this new year, 2024, welcoming each new day with gratitude, welcoming each moment of growth with gratitude, embracing a pride in our strengths, in our resolves, in our resilience, Continuing our meditative journey from centering and grounding to infinite possibilities, to openness, to change. And now Shannon McLean, Dr. McLean, a meditation on envisioning a positive future, inviting us to continue to expand our awareness checking in with ourselves at the beginning of this phase of the journey, checking into our bodies, checking into our surroundings, adjusting ourselves in our place, in our bodies. Our breath soft and easy, again, breathing in, breathing out. An invitation to connect with our yearning for the future flowing into the future with the rhythm of our own breathing. When I get quiet in myself, when I feel the process of my own breathing, I feel the present moment and I feel myself moving toward the future. She invites us to consider certain questions, but to remain open to them, not to force them, to, to remain open. What kind of a future do I sense, do I feel myself drawn to, moving toward? How do I envision myself in relationship to others? How do I wish this to be? What might get in my way as I continue my journey, as my journey unfolds and I remain open to it? What might be the obstacles? And how will I continue to move gently past those obstacles beyond the stuck points? And what are the skills and the inward resources I may need to continue embracing a positive future? And what, how might practice support this future? Embracing the future, embracing ourselves as we unfold as part of that future, remaining in the present moment, yet also open to the new moment that's unfolding, following our curiosities. And now as we enjoy this circle together, join together this evening, each of us breathing in our own space, in our own bodies, centering ourselves inwardly, grounding ourselves outwardly in the world, but also in the circle. 
embracing the new year and embracing the future. And now let's close with a minute of gentle breathing. Just one more minute on this journey. And now stretching and we rejoin the circle in case anyone has anything they wish to share. Remaining with where we are and how this experience is unfolding for us, but also inviting a moment of sharing. 